The Tan brothers of Mr. DIY Group Malaysia, Tan Yu Ye and Tan Yu Wei, together with Westport's holdings Tan Sri G. Nanalingam, are new entrants into Forbes' billionaires list this year. Also new on the list is Tan Eng Ki, CEO of Penang-based factory automation equipment maker Great Tech Technology. In its newly released 35th annual World's Billionaires list, Forbes estimated the net worth of Mr. DIY's Yu Ye to be about 1.8 billion US dollars and Yu Wei at about 1.1 billion dollars. Forbes noted that the brothers' wealth comes from their respective stakes in the home improvement retail chain. It estimated Nana Lingam's net worth to be about $1.7 billion and Great Tax Tan's fortune to total $1.1 billion. Other Malaysians on Forbes' 2021 billionaires list include Hong Leong Group's Tan Sri Kwek Leng Chan with an estimated wealth of $9.7 billion, telecommunications tycoon Ananda Krishnan $5.8 billion, public banks Tan Sri Te Hong Piao $5.7 billion, businessman Tan Sri Syed Mokhtar Al Bukhari $1.2 billion, Harta Lega Holdings Chairman Kwan Kam Hon and Family $3.9 billion, and Top Glove Corp's Tan Sri Dr. Lim Wee Chai $3.5 billion. Forbes' list has 2,755 billionaires, including 493 newcomers, in which it noted is unprecedented by any measure, especially in a year in which large economies around the world were hampered by the coronavirus pandemic. Altogether, they are worth $13.1 trillion, up from $8 trillion in the 2020 list compiled by Forbes. At the very top of the rankings for the fourth straight year is Amazon's Jeff Bezos, worth $177 billion. Tan Sri Tony Fernandes and Datuk Kamarudin Maranon have sold UK-based performance car manufacturer Caterham Cars to Japanese automotive group VT Holdings. According to Caterham, it was acquired on March 31st by VT from Fernandes, AirAsia Group Executive Director and CEO, and Kamarudin, the Budget Airlines Executive Chairman. In Caterham's statement, the company did not, however, disclose the value of the transaction or specify why the long-time business partners decided to let go of the lightweight sports car maker. In the statement, Caterham CEO Graham McDonald merely said that the company is excited about starting to write the next chapter for this very special brand. VT has operated as the official Japanese importer for Caterham's seven-car model since 2009. It is one of Japan's largest retailer groups and also imports a collection of two- and four-wheeled British brands, including Royal Enfield and Lotus in its home market. Moody's financial institution group analyst Li Tengfu expects Malaysia's non-performing loan level to increase once the various debt relief programs end. Speaking at Moody's Investors Service Inside ASEAN Malaysia Media Roundtable, he said that the percentage of loans applicable for debt relief in Malaysia is relatively high, though it is not as high as in Indonesia or Thailand. Lee expects some of these loans to eventually default when the retail and small and medium enterprise debt relief schemes end this coming June. Still, the outlook for asset quality is stable, he said, and one of the key mitigating factors is that the loans under the repayment schemes are largely from the retail segment, specifically mortgages and auto loans. He said this sort of mirrors the composition of the banking system loans and will help mitigate potential losses. Lee noted that Malaysian households have strong buffers in the form of financial assets and could blunt the losses that may arise from these loans under repayment assistance. The analyst also believes that the proactive loan provisioning done by Malaysian banks in 2020 against loan buffers means the lenders could absorb some of these loan losses. Under its baseline assumption, Moody's Financial Institution Group does not expect credit cost or loan loss provision to spike in the second half of 2021 when the debt relief measures expire. As such, Lee expects the profitability of Malaysian banks to improve this year, though not to pre-COVID-19 levels.
Genting Chairman and CEO Tan Sri Lim Kok Tay expects significant challenges to persist in 2021, despite the nascent recovery being registered by the regional gaming market. In Genting's latest annual report filed with the Bourse, Lim said the group maintains a cautious stance on near-term prospects for the leisure and hospitality industry, since the global outlook for these sectors remain highly uncertain given the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite the headwinds, the group will persevere with long-term strategies to spur local economies. These include the completion of ongoing development projects this year, such as the new Resorts World Las Vegas, the new outdoor theme park at Resorts World Genting, the new hotel at Resorts World Casino New York City, and the first phase of new attractions from the 4.5 billion Singapore dollar or 13.81 billion ringgit mega expansion at Resorts World Sentosa in Singapore. Lim said the group will continue to optimize productivity and improve operational efficiency and also assess any good business opportunities that may arise from this new normal that could complement its existing business or provide new growth. Malaysia's 4G coverage has improved to 93.51% as at March 31, 2021, from 92.03% as at end 2020, says MCMC, putting the nation on track to reach its target of 96.9% coverage by end 2021 under the Jandela Initiative. At the MCMC's virtual media briefing today in conjunction with Jandela's second quarterly report, MCMC Chairman Dr. Fadlullah Suhaimi Abdul Malik said that in terms of fibre connectivity to premises, 5.7 million premises have been passed as at March 31, 2021. That's up from 5.4 million as at December 31, 2020. From a KPI standpoint, he said MCMC hit 132% of the planned target for the first quarter ended March 31, 2021. On the progress of sunsetting the 3G network in Malaysia, Fadlullah said over 629,000 3G customers migrated to 4G during the first quarter of 2021 and the figure exceeded the MCMC's target of 562,490 customers for the three months. Meanwhile, 20,492 3G carriers were switched off, surpassing its target of 19,607 for the quarter. <music> 